Greetings everybody, we're going to start this video here. We are on, we're just off Tepesit Road, Tepesit Soy 8. Now I'm coming to a place here that I've never been before. I keep seeing it all over the, you know, all over the Facebook and over the internet and everybody raves about it. The reason why we're here is because we're going to do our next five meals, which are going to be five pies. And that is down to you, you have requested this. God, this is going to be a difficult one to do. I'm going to have to do five pies in five days, is it? Probably not on that, but about six or seven days. Right, now on the last one, we did the uh, Masaman. Uh, we messed up with one, we put a, a Penang in there. But which one was the best one? Well, it was obviously really which one was the best one. That was the Robin Hood Tavern. Uh, but then again, it was literally double the price and even more than that than, than others. But it was excellent. Also, the, the Mai Tai was really good as well. That was excellent. Uh, but I would say in second place, uh, the Surf Shack in Jomtiam. I thought that was... Uh, one of the better ones actually and what what i liked about that was the tomatoes in it uh but this one right okay stipulations are with the pies it's got to be a pie um a steak steak and kidney beef and onion cheese and onion i don't think i've seen them here in thailand uh, and we can have an alternative of either chips or mash with it um or beans or peas is it beans or peas for me it would have to be peas i'm not really into beans and pies i know a lot of you are but not for me it doesn't really work so anyway the first one is going to be like i say somewhere we haven't been before the caddy shack here i will leave a link in the description for this place it is not far outside of central patea it's just off third road so let's go inside and get a pie right so the good thing about any is you get quite a good choice let me have a look at my glasses here there is steak and kidney steak steak and mushroom uh, minced beef and onion meat potato chicken and mushroom chicken Cornish pasty, chicken, curry, pies. So several pies there that all look excellent. Um, then you also get a choice of um, chips or mashed potato, uh, peas, baked beans, mushy peas and gravy. So I've basically had mushy peas, gravy, meat and potato pie, and all this at a cost of 195 baht. So I think that's a very good deal, Jack. Fantastic. Have okay. you been here before? Yeah, I'll come here every day for my breakfast, Norman. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> the breakfast is fantastic in here. But um, I this is the first time I've been here. It's a really big place. It looks nice. It's air conditioned. Uh, there's, there's guys playing pool over there. It looks great. They Sport. do a good Sunday roast as well. Good Sunday roast in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I, I so believe. I so believe. But yeah, I mean, this menu is massive. Um, yeah. Very impressed with it. Uh, this one of Danny's gone for chips and chicken and mushroom. I think you'll like this one because I know from my time in the UK all the Thais seem to like chicken and mushroom. And it's also got mushy peas there and some gravy. Now I've had uh, meat and potato, chips, mushy peas and some gravy. Uh, to, to this one's to the Luton fans, gonna have some gravy on it. <laughs> Let's have a chop inside here. Let's have a look. Yeah, there's the uh, okay. meat and potato. Ah, oh, it looks good. Put the potato and oh, meat in there. Oh, yeah. Beef potato is always one of mine. And what I do like about this, the pastry is thin on it. I don't want the pastry to be too, be too thick for me because I'll get indigestion uh, and I can only have one pie a day. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Hope it's not too hot. Cheers a bit. It's mm. mm. nice. I've not eaten potato pie for years. Oh, it tastes good. Now I'm just going to finish off with a carrot cake. Let's see what it's like. Mm, that's good. Oh yeah, quite rich. Right, guys, mm. Candy Shack. What soy is this called, by the way? I know it's. I don't know. I always class it as regional land, but it's got a name for soy. But this is regional land with the land offices, isn't it? Right, it's Tepesit. Soy 15, I think. Yeah. I think, sure. Yeah. Um, anyway, that was excellent, guys. Very good. Uh, very homely. I would say. Uh, reminds me a bit of Nicky's in a way. Yeah, it's nice, really nice. And not only the pies though, if you the menu on there, the breakfast, they've got, uh, they've even got like, you know, okay, beans on toast, but you can like have two beans on toast or you can have one egg, one beans on toast. Yeah, loads mix, of mix different and match. Yeah, mix, 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 combinations, loads of combinations. But the pies were very good. I liked it because it's a thin pastry and there's plenty of meat and the potatoes oh, were good yeah. in there. So, candy shack here, on to the next place. <laughs> <laughs>
the last couple of weeks I've been having to think about this and I've been redoing a bit of research. Um, we've got the World Cups coming up and Hook Up Corner, we're going to put a screen in there and we're going to have every game on there live. Now, the thing is, I don't want the bar to become a dedicated sports bar. It's not about that. But I was thinking, well, do I buy a cheap one, an expensive one? Um, what about the light in there? Um, the lumens on the screen? And there's, there's a lot you've got to um, consider. So I've spoke to a few people, a few, I would call, experts on this in uh, Pattaya. Thais, mainly. And uh, they've told me you come to Tuckcom and have a look uh, of what, what there is here. Um, you know now, they, okay, they, they are expensive, but they're not as expensive as they used to be. Uh, but what can we do with this screen after the World Cup? Um, and I thought, you know what? What we could do is we could put this, the, um, the live show, which we do in A7, we could beam it into there. So people, if you wanted to listen to it, you could listen to it. Uh, and just things like that. So I think it'd be great. Um, but we need a big screen. And it's going to have to be a big one uh, for the whole bar. I don't want TVs dotted around the place. I just want one big screen. Uh, so the idea is a laser projector um, and a an, an automatic screen that, that just sort of comes down. So let's go into Topcom and have a look, see what there is. Yeah, that was a little bit of a, a waste of time. They haven't gotten in there. Some of them they can order online for you, but we can do that ourselves because we have been looking at it. But uh, yeah, no um, laser protectors in there. But because what I want to do is, I, need, I, I you know, I want the screen that comes down and it'd be better if it's automatic and it's sort of fixed in. Uh, but there's got to be a shop somewhere that does all this, surely. Or is it going to be in Bangkok? I'm going to be meeting somebody on Friday with regards to the projector screen. Uh, a guy who knows more about it me than me and he's going to set it up. But it is correct that we're going to have to order it from the internet. Now, guys, I'm up on the dark side uh, just by Lake Mapuchan. I arranged this a few months ago and uh, we're here at the Father Ray Foundation. And we've come here uh, for all and Goldstein is cooking uh, burgers for 150 uh, of the orphanage children here. Um, and this is the first time I've ever been here. And, you know, um, it's a kind of grounding coming here and seeing these kids. You know, the kids are so lovely. And uh, there's a lot of people who do a lot of good work for this. And what I've done is, um, I do donated, uh, not a large amount, but I donated some money from the members area uh, to, to help pay for this. I wasn't the only one, there's quite a few people. Uh, so I just want to thank everybody for that. And you know, if you um, if you want to donate any money to this uh, amazing, or I know a lot of, this gets a lot of attention. Um, I normally, I've, I've put my attention on other charities in in the area or in the province uh, because they get less uh, focus. Uh, but here at the Father Ray Foundation, there's a lot of people who do a lot of good work. And um, if you ever want to donate to them, I'm going to leave a link in the description. Uh, I never accept any uh, donations for any charity on this channel. I always make people donate direct. So guys, if you want to put your hands in the pocket, if you want to help out, you can do. Uh, Dan's going to leave you off the air with a little bit of a video. So guys, I want to thank you very much for watching this video. Plenty more to come. Until next time, take care.
So thank you, Nick. You're welcome. I really appreciate it for the support and welcome. the generous donation that you gave. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. That's from the NDTVI members. Thank you so thank much. You.